surrogacy and indian law out of all the married couples in india 10 to 15 persons 15 persons of couples suffer from infertility infertility is usually defined as loss of pregnancy and childbirth even after one year of unprotected sexual life out of the 10 to 15 percent of people suffering from infertility 90 percent can be cured by traditional methods traditional methods like drugs surgery and other non art non ivf methods in the 10 percent 90 percent of the people can be treated by assisted reproductive technology methods that is in vitro fertilization and embryo transfer methods in this group again ee rogathe kurichum roga chikitsaye kurichum aadhikarikamayittulla arivu iniyum ningalkku labhikkunnadinai devai njangalude channel subscribe cheyuga kude bell button kodi amarthuga they would like to have a third person's help the first and second parties in the married life that is wife and husband because of their problems in the reproductive tract a normal pregnancy is impossible in the whole lifetime they will they will have defects of their gametes they will have defects of their reproductive tract in many ways to solve that they may need the help of a third party this type of treatment is called third party reproduction the third party reproduction is not really approved by indian laws third party reproduction childs they do not have the property rights they do not have the family rights unless there is a proper law is in, enacted birth registration of all these children are affected even though in the media many celebrities and people are having this surrogacy method and art method and getting their children registered in the birth registration of municipalities and corporations they are under an unlawful act so a proper law recognizing legalizing the surrogacy process is inevitable and it is the need of the hour surrogacy is is hiring or helping getting the help of a third person third lady when the wife's uterus is totally incapable of a pregnancy and delivering a healthy child in this situation the physiological functioning of the uterus of the third party that is the surrogacy lady is utilized for a pregnancy for the infertile couple in return for the help they can be compensated for expenditure they can be given compensation they can be given gifts they can also be given insurance for any untoward effects insurance can be extended even to the child for a particular period for any unhealthy events so the antecedents following the surrogacy is totally protected and the law should be made in an appropriate manner to take care of all these situations